Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design concrete columns and concrete shear walls in STAD Advanced Concrete Design from a model that was built and analyzed in STAD Pro. In this particular video, we have just sent our model data from our analysis model over to STAD Advanced Concrete Design. And the first thing we're going to do is take a look at our Level Data tab which should be active by default. Now in this STAD Pro model, one of the concrete columns is connected to the shear wall. When the shear wall was meshed in STAD Pro, the column was segmented into individual analytical members to ensure proper connectivity to the wall. When STAD Advanced Concrete Design imported the column geometry, the vertical elevation of the end node that is attached to each member in that segmented column was imported as a level, which is why we see so many levels within this table. So the first thing we're gonna do is set our primary levels. And what this will allow the program to do is calculate the appropriate unbraced length for each of the columns within the model. To start this process, we will go up to the Modify menu bar item and we're gonna select the Merge, Demerge Levels option. Here you can see that all of the levels are currently by default selected as a primary level. Now our particular building structure has a primary level at Y equals 12 feet, Y equals 24 feet, and Y equals 36 feet. So within this dialog, we're gonna go ahead and select every level that is not considered a primary level. These are our secondary levels, and we basically want them to be merged together. So here you can see I have all of my primary levels selected, and then we can go ahead and click OK. Now, as you can see, the level data table has been updated to indicate where the primary levels are versus the secondary levels. So as a reminder, the secondary levels will be merged with the primary levels and STAD Advanced Concrete Design will calculate the clear height of the columns to be the same across those levels. Now, if we click within this table, we'll be able to see the layout as we would expect. In addition to entering the primary levels for this particular model, we can also use the level data table to specify our material properties at each level of the structure. For this particular model, we're going to tell the program we're going to be using C3, that would be 3000 PSI concrete. If you had selected a metric code, you would be given metric equivalents within this area. In addition to that, we're going to keep the concrete cover set to two inches and the grade of steel set to 60 KSI. At this point, I'll go ahead and save our model and then we're ready to move on in our workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.